Hello, I'm Anthony Evans. I'm the creative head of the 3D department here at Digital Puppets. We're an animation studio based in the UK that specialises in interactive cartoons for broadcast, education, avatars and much more. Recently I've been working on producing live 3D puppets. So, for example, if a movie like Toy Story 4 was being released, the characters Woody and Buzz Lightyear could be interviewed instead of the actors who voice them. Anyway, this is what I've been doing. Check it out. Today we are looking at iClone and the Perception Neuron with real-time face wear. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the results. As you can see, you've got expressions from the head and head movement. This is all being controlled with the real-time face wear plugin. And we have body movements from the Perception Neuron. I've literally just plugged this in and turned it on so there's and done a quick calibration. I'm only using the um, upper body, so I haven't attached the leg sensors, I haven't attached the finger sensors, but you know, for a quick just put on get, uh, get going, it's working pretty well. And I'm loving the, um, the facial expressions as well. As you can see down here in the corner, you've got the movement from axis motion, and up here at the top, this is my facial expressions from a real time with face wear. And yeah, I mean, the movement's pretty nice. Um, you know, I think we've got some controls as well. We can go in closer to the face. Then we've got live control over the camera. As you can see me moving the mouse around. But let's have a look. Let's tra check out the range of expressions. So, hello, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, so I think you can get a nice kind of range with this. Okay, testing one, two. Also, we've got controls over the face, so we can um, adjust the jaw, <laughs> which is probably a bit too much. Um, you've got mouth controls, so how much the mouth is affected. Hello, testing one, two, three. Um, cheeks as well. That's pretty cool. Some pouting. Um, let's see. We've got eyeball controls. And eyelids. And eyebrows as well. Let's hang the eyebrows up, get really expressions. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's quite nice. We've got um, we can also mask out certain areas. So we can turn the eyebrows off. Um, turn off the cheek animations if we wanted to. Um, in the body, you can see that we have switched off the head so that the head is being controlled by the Facebook app. Um, so yeah, it'd be really good to be able to have these as live characters on YouTube shows and things like that. Um, I think. It will be doable. Um, all we will need to do is add a green screen background and then broadcast it out the same as we will with any other um, character software that we've been using. So the next step is we want to get a hold of either the, the Perception Neuron Pro so that we can try out if that hardware makes any difference. Um, and we're also going to try and do some live tests as well. So yeah, we're going to set the scene up. Um, put a green screen background on this and see where we go from there. Also, we're going to look into bringing in our own custom characters. Um, using the 3D exchange that comes with iClone makes it very easy. So you can get a custom made character in FBX format with all your morph targets and everything applied. And you can set them all up and then bring that straight into iClone and get your a character running with this setup straight away. Or what's coming out soon is the iClone Character Builder 3 which has a GoZ plugin, which looks amazing really. So you can use characters like this, send them to GoZ, add, customize it as much as you want, add clothing, stuff like that. So I'm very, looking, I'm very excited about seeing what we can do with that. So for general YouTube videos, it'd be pretty good. So like, welcome. Check this out. What's going on here? 
what's going on down there. I mean, we have got other characters as well. Let's uh, try one of these out. Okay, here's another one of their default characters, and I'll show you how easy it is to actually just set up one of these. So, if we go to plugins, motion live, it gives our options of face where real time and perception they're on. So for the face, we want to add real time. For the body, we want to add perception they're on. Body, turn off the head. Make it upper body. We want to mirror the motion. Again, mirror the motion. And let's preview it. See how it goes. There we are. So testing one, two, three. Probably need some settings changing, eyelids need adjusting, eyebrows don't need to be so responsive. Uh, maybe draw a bit wider. Maybe not so wide. Mouth a bit more expressive. So yeah. Here you go, that's how you set up another character extremely quickly. Um, that mouth needs to go back down, it's a bit too expressive. So yeah, it's, you know, it's very easy to bring in a character and quickly turn on the motion live settings. You can still see how it's working with everything. You know, if we was doing a live show and we was talking to someone, uh, an audience member, it'd be really cool. You know, we can, and I think as well, the, with these characters, though they're actually really good, um, this would work brilliantly with something that's a little bit more stylized. So, you know, there's not as much expression needed in the mouth and the eyes and all that sort of thing. You know, it's that whole uncanny valley thing. But, you know, it, it works brilliantly. Uh, the other thing I was going to show you is you can pre record these animations as well. So anything that you've got, we've got some scenes that have been pre-recorded in here. Let's see, it's a dance scene. So anything that's already in here that's been pre-recorded, you can add and play, and that will add onto your character all like that. This is a full body animation, so we will. So, I mean, this is also really great for recording animations and building up a full sequence. What is quite cool as well, you will see in some of the animations that have been done here. There you can see, you can see there's nice movement with the fingers. If I just want to loop for a second. And let's pause this. Let's put the body on full. We'll take the head off and keep the control for the head. Which I think should be easy enough done. Testing, one, two, three. So here we go. We've got pre recorded animation done. Full body neurons. This has been done with this, um, this suit right here. That's been calibrated properly. And you can actually see like the quality that you can get from it is pretty impressive. Testing, one, two, three. I have hands. I have fingers. Oh no. Do a little dance. Yeah, still got fingers. Pretty cool. Okay. And there we go. So that's pretty nice. Um, again, another thing to look at while we're here would be there's actually a lot of quality settings um, that we can look into. Um, at the moment we've got him on medium. But if we crank up to high, you can see it uses all the bump maps and specular and all the... Um, so there's a lot more detail involved. I don't know how well this will 
record again everything's dependent on the system that you've got but it still still works pretty well testing one two three Wow. Okay. Let's see the difference if we bring it down to quick mode. So, I mean, you don't lose a massive amount of quality. I mean, obviously, it's not as nice as the original, but, you know, if you're using a more stylized character that hasn't got as much detail, this could work really well. Okay, let's switch back to live mocha and see where we go from there. So, this concludes my iClone test for now. Um, hopefully next time I will be looking at getting in a custom made character. I will look, be, possibly make some videos on how we can do that as well. Um, for now, this is kind of just a sneak peek, me playing around with the software, seeing what I can do. Um, I'll have another quick play around with. Let's see what this is. And here we go. A more stylized character to test. And as I reckon, like, the uh, more stylized characters seem to work a lot better. Like it, They don't suffer from the uncanny valley. You're not looking at the mouth and thinking, oh, that's not working properly. It's actually, uh, I think myself personally, that it works a bit better like this. Um, we can add in a bit more expression with this mouth, I think, because, as I said, uh, let's see, um, eyelids quite close. That's... In the brows. Testing one, two, three, and welcome. As it stands, this for a quick setup works very nicely. Testing one, two, three. <sighs> so, welcome, welcome to our show. Today we're going to be talking about stuff. This stuff, that stuff, stuff, I don't know. And maybe I find it surprising. <gasps> or makes me sad. It'll be interesting to see what can be done and uh, what we can do with the software. But I think there's definitely great potential with all of it. Anyway. For now, I would say goodbye. Goodbye.